Only one name. We say to you all that have joined us by the vehicle of the service, Shabbat, Shalom, the riches of Yah's covenant of great promises rest upon you all, your homes. May his Torah be fulfilled in our bosom today as we take great delight. And our pleasure should be Torah. That it calls our hearts, our minds to ponder the greatness of our Abba, what he has done, what he has created, and how he proves himself every second with us. And breath in our bodies. And he proves himself with us constantly. And so for that, I do toda my Abba. For his Hamashiach, Yoshua. For the great riches that he grants unto us all. But to greet you all again, our Akhtavi there in Indiana, at Kesner, you and the family, and you that have joined us there in Tampa, Florida, our Rahot Diane, and Rahot Kim, there in Illinois, and all of you, our friends, Rahot Mariam, our Ima Miriam, and all the nation of Yah, wherever you are. Those that are my friends, and of course I like enemies, because enemies keep me in shape. They keep me spiritually fit. And so we greet you all. Those that are my distractors, that's all right with me. I'm not offended, but the man agrees with me, concurs with me, and not. I agree with Torah. You can't refute what I say. Your questions cannot disnull what I say, period. Because what I say is so simple, you can't grasp it. You want something that is deep, that you think is deep, and you can't understand the simple things of Yah, because your mind cannot ponder them. You want to present yourself as one having some deep thoughts of spiritual intellectualism. You don't have a damn thing. It is right, my Ima. So what I say is so simple, you cannot dispute it. Because it deals with your very nature, your very hearts, your very mind, your substance. And that's a fact. And so I'm not offended at your insults, your assaults against me. I don't waste my time. They do not offend me. I'm not affected, nor does it affect my outlook or anything. Whether you're starting with me two days or whether you denounce me the next day, it makes no difference with me. I'm not concerned about that. It's not an issue with me. It may be one with you, but it's not one with me. Not at all. And that's why our upbringing has been so construed and diluted. We don't understand truth when we hear it. Because we have these concepts already built in our minds, so if someone says anything any different, then, well, hold up. No. I know what I'm saying. Because I stay with the simple basics. If there's anything beyond that, you could not understand that anyway. It's a generation that doesn't understand. Can I teach you a little bit? Understand the perfect will of Yah. That's the reason why I want to teach this, Yisraya. How do we understand the perfect will? I recall as a young man, I would hear the ignorance of the people. I want to be in Yah's perfect will. His word is pure. It is tomim. It is complete. That is what makes us whole. That is what calls us to be complete in Yahshua Hamashiach. And so you will hear those that will say, I want to do his perfect will. I want to understand his perfect will. I have never heard a preacher or anyone extolling Yah's truth to tell us how we perform the perfect will of Yah. And how do we know that our will above all is to please him. 
How do we know? How is it that we can understand the perfect will of Yah? What does the perfect will of Yah consist of? What is the or are the attributes of Yah's perfect will? How do you know? How do you understand that? I would have begun here in the book. I would tell you where I'm reading from. From the book of Ephesia. How do I perform the perfect will of Yah? How? What is the mandate that shows me the perfect will of, of Almighty Yah? If I can't find it in the Torah, then there is no such thing as the perfect will of Yah. And if the Torah teach me there is a perfect will, then I must pursue all avenues to find out what is the perfect will. I can ask us all you that have joined us, what is the perfect will? And we all will give a different answer. There's only one answer. I want to begin with the perfect compliance of Yah, to know that you're in the perfect will of Yah, where it begins. Shaul writes, here in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 6. He says unto Yisrael, Yah, even in our service unto Yah and one another, we don't do it with eye service, pretending and moving when someone is in our presence, as pleasers uh, of men or our own hearts, our own hidden agenda. He said, but as a servant of Hamashiach, as a servant of Yahshua Hamashiach, why? Doing the will. Doing the will. Fashioning, forming one's asa. Doing the reuth, the hafiz, the great pleasure. Doing the will of Yah. From where? From the left. See, so we don't have that in our hearts to do his will. It begins from the heart. What has Yah written and put in the heart of man, his nation? It must be done doing the will of Yah from our hearts, from the labav, from the lev. And our hearts are not sincere with Yah. We have no great compassion for Yah's truth. Because when one does have that great compassion, this is the result I will show you here in the writings of David. Psalms 40 and verse 8. Psalms 40 to Heliam, chapter 40, verse 8. David says, uh, I do chafetz, I delight. I delight, he says, uh, to do, to fashion my mind, my body, to do, uh, to do your will, yeah, your pleasure, your great Desire, your ratson, your pleasure. I delight to do that. We always say we do that. We all say that we delight to do the will of Yah. What was the delight that caused him to do Yah's great pleasure? He tells Yah this. He says, yes, your Torah is within. Tovik. It is within my heart. It's in my life. That is the only way you can do the will of Yah by the mandate, the perfect will of Yah by Torah. You cannot do it any other way. And I will watch, that has never been my prayer. Yah, I want to do your perfect will. Because he did not allow me even in all of my ignorance to pray like that. And everyone will go to the prayer line. I want to do the perfect, I want to be in Yah's perfect will. Well, you got to desire that in your heart. You must do it from your heart. And if he has not written his Torah in our minds and our inward part, you cannot operate in the perfect will. His word is perfect. His word is complete. And that is how we began to orchestrate in the perfect will of Yah. Obeying the commands, loving Yah with all. 
I said to one, we cannot love Yah the same way that the Baptists say they love Yah. We can't draw love one to another the way the Baptists do meet on Sunday, meet on Wednesday, and that's it. He said, all her faiths are delight. My great pleasure is to do the will of Yah. You have given me the assurance, he said, because your Torah, your Torah is within. It is the Tavik. It is the center of my life. It is the center force. It is everything that my life evolves and revolves around. Our lives revolve around our own greed and our own loss and our own wickedness. And everyone will say, I'm doing the will of Yah. We are liars. We're full of our own, we're our own dung, Yisrael. We want delight to do the will of Yah. It is to suffer for one another. It is to bear the burdens of those that are not as strong as you. It is to lift up the hand of your Achim or your Hotim. We don't give a flat worth a damn about one another. I'm talking to all of his people. Now those that think I'm just talking to you, I am just talking to you, but you are there getting the pleasure of hearing as well. You must delight to do his will. There must be a great pleasure that he has elected you. He has elected you and chosen you uh, to do something to please him. We are just as pretentious and phony as a damn jackass that is green. We don't want to come to the conclusion what's in our own hearts. We can examine everyone else but examine me, yeah. I want to read that again, what David said. I delight to do your will. It's in my heart, fits. It gives me great excitement. When nothing, nothing else satisfies me, it is your will. It is your pleasure, Yah. And he calls him his Abba, and he said, yes, your Torah. I know that I have the Mishra and the government of Yah in me. Your Torah is within. Tovich. It is in the centrality of my whole desire. Everything I think on, it evolves from Torah, what the Torah commands. And how could you ever understand the perfect will of Yah when there is not a perfect truth taught to us? When we have this homogenized traditions of Baptist, Catholicism, and vile, wicked men that think they know Yah and still call upon their devious, damnable deity of hell, Jesus. We must do the will of Yah from our hearts, Yisrael. It's time out for a false pretense. Yeah. Pretend that you love me, you don't give a damn. Yeah. Pretend that you care, you flat out don't give a damn. Yeah. You show no attributes of caring. Yeah. Something is horrible, my friend, if I don't show her I care for her. Yeah. If I don't show my Achim that I care for them. I'm not going to put on him, although I will put on him, the same thing I put on him. I'm not going to put on him or him what I will do tomorrow. I don't want them to help me. But what they do is just as important as what I do. We must do his will from our hearts. And the only way you're going to, you're going to know that is in your heart, you must know that. The power of that Torah of Yah, the revelation, the witness of Yahshua, is the testimony of our strength. We walk like him, we talk like him. And so we have laid hold to traditions that make void what Torah says. I delight, he said, to do your will. And the only way you're going to understand the power of his perfect will, he gave us a perfect order to love him with all and everything. And then he shows us a commandment that is equal, to love our neighbors as ourselves. We must love one another like we love uh, ourselves. And you don't give a damn about you, you're not going to give a damn about me. 
You can talk all you want to. I love the people. Uh, you are flat out Jezebel of a liar. You deceitful, wicked man. You don't know how to love them. You're false and phony. You have no sensitivity of understanding of what Yas Ahava is. You throwing that at me, I'm throwing it right in your face, man. You too, woman. I leave no stone unturned. Our hearts are stony. We have this damn filth in our hearts. We have this damn filth. You are emotional with the world, but you are unemotional with me. We're going to deal with this a moment. Is that all right? Makes no difference. I want to show you. When one understands the beauty of Yah, of his will, his hafiz, what pleases him. I found only one descriptive, actual, vivid picture of that in Torah, and it's found, write it down, in the book of Yasha. He says this, Yasha 2363. And Avraham, when he was offering up Yitzchok, he heard the words of Yitzchok. He heard his son, his only birth of the seed of heritage. And he lifted up his voice and he wept when Yitzchok spoke these words. And Abraham's tears gushed down upon Yitzchak. They were so fervent. And the tears fell upon his beautiful son. It says, and Yitzchak, it says Yitzchak, he wept. He cried greatly, great tears. And he said to his avah, Hasten. Don't waste no time. Hasten. Do it quickly. He said, hasten you, my avat, to do the will of Yahweh, our Almighty, as he has commanded you. Do what he commands you. He is able to raise this life again. And out of this life shall come the heritage of life in his people. Don't haste. Do what he commands you. Do it. Everything your commands us is his perfect order. To care for each other. To bear the burdens of each other. He said, Father, hasten. Don't ponder. He is the one that made you and me. And the tears gush out of this young lad's eyes. He said, I want you to do the will. The will. The will, the pleasure of almighty Yahweh. Why? Because Abraham taught his house the ways of Yah. We teach them every kind of sinful wickedness. How to take pleasure. Shaking their ass and do whatever kind of damnable wicked thing. They don't teach them to take pleasure in the will of Yah. He said, hasten. Do it. Get it done. Please Yah. For there is nothing any greater than that. That we please Yah. Do his perfect will. That the Torah order our steps. It is the light. It is the lamp of our pathway. And the lights of the way we go. That in that will we please Yah. You delight in what? Well, I'll get to that. We're talking about the will. The perfect will of Yah. Hallelujah. 
There is no one, Yisrael, that is of the house of Almighty Yahweh outside of his will. No one. I don't care who you want to destroy it to that they love Yah, you are a liar. I don't care what their little superficial actions and activities are. Well, they do that. They go to church. It doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah. Yahshua profoundly utters here. He says this, for whosoever do the will, do the will, do the will of Yah, the same is Israel. Yeah, that's my ach. That is my achim. That is my achotim. That is my imma. You must do his will. You must have the Torah in your heart. You cannot forget his name. You cannot dis, just make void or empty the Shabbat. You must zakah Shabbat. This is the perfect will of Yah. That he has even placed a few of us here whereby we can rest in the comfort of his will. Yeah. We take more rest in our own wickedness and our corruption. Yeah. You're not of the house of Yisrael. You're not doing the will of Yah. Yeah. When a man is doing that, a woman, she delights in Yah's purpose. Why? Because she has Torah. Yeah. That reassures her and refortifies him and makes him strong. Yeah. He doesn't miss the appointment of Yah's time. He doesn't make excuses. You know, I used to drive. Uh, I used to drive. It was about to where we went to, to the whole house. It was about 40 miles one way, nearly 50. And I never miss these service. Sick, hurting. Hell, if I had to walk, I would have. I never miss. I didn't miss my work at the job. I remember the manager walking up to me one day. He said, you know what? You haven't missed a day all this year. I know that. You pay me. I'm not going to steal from you. I'm not going to take advantage of the sick days. If I need it, I know. I, you know how many sick days I got a year when I was working at IBM? I got 365 days. So did a whole bunch. If you missed the first year, if you were sick working, they paid you 100% salary. If you missed the second year, the whole day, they paid you 75%. And it depends on your case, they would pay you until you died. All the vacation days I was getting, I appreciate you all. And I want you to know how in my effort, how I work, how much I appreciate you. I won't rob you. I won't steal from your time. I'll never forget my friend, my manager, say, look, man, look, I see you in here. I'm leaving and you're still here working. I see you only got eight hours on your time card. He said, man, you can't do that. He was watching me, but I know what had to be done. I said, well, that's all right, man. I said, hey, maybe a day I may take, instead of 40 minutes lunch, I may take an hour. He said, no, no, no. Not with you, my friend. He said, I tell you what, you put ass some time. I said, I'm not going to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. He said, what? I said, I'm not going to do it. It would have fired me, fired me. I'm not going to do it. This corporation has given me. I'll give back to it. He said, you can't do that, man. You get me in trouble. I said, well, then you'll get in trouble then. He said, they're fired. I said, then you get fired then. Just like that. He said, man, I don't know what to do with you. Just leave me alone. Let me do my job. You know what he did? He found a way to give me some extra money. He did. I said, man. We don't do, we don't serve y'all with, with eye service. I didn't care because I knew that my, my living expenditures were taken care of well. My home, my wife. And I appreciated that. And I would go to our get up. And I didn't clown with all the rest of the clowns. I didn't gather in the little congregate groups. And laugh, I didn't do it. And I won't do it with the people of Yah. Can I read a little farther? I want to show you something here that will bless you much. As to how one knows that he or she is walking in the 
perfect will of Yah. I will tell you one thing. If we're not dedicated to Yah, you're not in his perfect will. As the old song, let the works I do speak for me. So you must be dedicated. That must be a sincere, developed type of relationship through understanding of the promises of the Torah of Yah. Shaul gives us an indication of that. Listen, in the book of Romeo, Romans 12 uh, and verse 1, as he speaks unto the nation. First of all, he says, I beg you, Yisrael light achim. He said, you brothers, I beg you. You know, it's a shame that I have to beg us. Let us be attentive. You all don't go to sleep in Yah's house. I shouldn't have to say that. It's wrong. Your eyes should be bright and lit up. You should not distract me. Mama, if you lay down, it's all right, all right? You shouldn't distract. You that are men, you strong men, that should not be your, that should, be not, should not be your way. You're here to strengthen me because I'm here to strengthen you. You don't rest in your house. You rest in his Torah. Now when you go home after the service, you rest. He says this. He says, I beg you therefore, Yisraelites, Achim. He said, by the Hasid, the Ra'achim, or the great kindness of Yah. First of all, that you present. You give your body, your life being, your substance. Uh, he says, as a living zabak, an offering. Uh, he said, first of all, it must be chadosh or kodash. It must be clean. You lift up clean hands when you come in the presence of Yah. Yeah. See, we don't, you, you know, even when I tell people to do that, they don't even respond. I want to show you something. I want to show you that you, you don't know Yah. Because when Yah speaks to us, it should make our hearts excited. I delight to do your will, for your Torah is in my Leba. Hear this now? We present our bodies as a living offering unto Yah, Kodesh, acceptable Yah, which is just a reasonable service. He gives us six days to damn it, sleep all day, and to do what we want to. He said on the Shabbat, remember that. Don't bring no burden on the Shabbat. Don't bring the burden of your flesh. Don't let your flesh burden you down. Come on, Yisrael. Yeah. We got to have warriors. We got to have gabbers in this house. We, we, we only have a few of us here, you all that are listening. There are more of you listening than here. Believe me. We had a nice crew last night. He said, that's the most reasonable thing you can do to give him all. Because he has given you all. <laughs> Hear this now. He warns us, first of all, be not conformed to this world. See, that's our problem. We have conformed to the world. We're like the world. We look like the world. We act like the world. We talk like the world. He said, but be ye transformed by the renewing. By the renewing. By the renewing of your mind. Why? This is why your mind must be renewed. And it comes by Ruach HaChodesh. You can't talk like you did six months ago. You can't talk like you did when you were a jive, shuck, buck, and cat in the world. You can't talk like you did when you were Jezebel, fluzzy, ignorant thing in the world. Uh, he says, uh, he says uh, that you may, see, you may prove, uh, you may test, uh, you may sarah, you may prove uh, what is tav. Uh, what is the most beautiful thing? Uh, you may prove what is acceptable unto Yah and the perfect will uh, of Almighty Yah. That's how you prove it. Uh. That's how you prove what the perfect will of Yah. That's how you prove it, not your talk. Uh. You don't do what I service. Uh, it's almost the manager coming uh, and you start working. I never hung out with the crews at any job. I would be working. Manager walked through uh, break time. I didn't even take a break. I didn't take a break. I didn't sit down in the jungles of filth, uh, and cigarettes, smoking, unclean men and women. I didn't sit down with them. Not me. Uh, 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 uh. And the manager would come and everyone else 
Break should have been over 9.15. It's 9.30 and they're still sitting down. He may come at 9 and they're all sitting there and, and I'm working. He's, and he will sit there. And I remember he would just watch and wait. He'll come back. Well, he's going to take a break. He said, no, I'm not taking a break. He came to me one day and said, you're doing three times as much as everyone. Your production, I see it. It is qualitative and quantitative. I see what you're doing. I want to give you another job. That's all right by me. Give you some money for you and Rafael to go out to dinner. $250? We went to TJ Mack. I bought me a nice, colorful leather coat. I bought me a watch. And bought her something. And bought me a necktie. And then we went out to dinner. I get my check $750. What? What? Extra. Ouch. If I did that, what do I do for y'all? He sees me. He sees my falsehood, my lies. I tell him all the time, I am so vile and so corrupt. I stay on me. I'm not going to do what I did yesterday. I'm not going to do it today now. What I did today, I'm not going to do tomorrow. That we may prove what is tough. What is acceptable. And then the perfect will. The perfect will of Yah. We have to prove the perfect will of Yah. Yeah, you have to prove it. It has to be test. As Granny would say, there are tests. There are tests. And your callous, wicked ways, you're not, you don't delight in loving your Ak, your Akim, or your Chutim. You don't delight in their fellowship. You're a wicked woman. You're a vow, repugnant, immature boy. You're not even a man. I rejoice in the fellowship of my Akim. I rejoice working with them. I don't care what little I do, I just rejoice in their presence. And just their faithfulness makes me, it makes me, it calls me uh, to dedicate myself. Uh, it calls me to refine myself. Uh, calls me to do more. He's doing all this for me. I'm going to do all this for him. That's right. I said to Agio, say we're going to have on our, after Shabbat, after prayer, we're going to have on our headland. And so we're going out there and load those plants and we're going to load up our, my big uh, uh, cutter. So when I go out there first thing, I will be up when it's cold uh, because I want to eat some collard greens. Uh, I want to eat some broccoli. I want, to, I want to make sure I grow you some Brussels sprouts. Uh, and I got the perfect place in the garden for them to grow. You understand? Baby set those plants like my babies up early this morning. Make sure they're right. Need a little water, but that's all right. He's standing all right. Happy to see you, Papa. I'm glad to see you all. Makes my heart shine. Makes me smile when I see what y'all has done. Why? I'll show you why I'm this way. You're false. Well, if you live with me, you would see if, if I'm this way. Huh? <laughs> you, you will see that. You will see what I'm about. That we must prove what is acceptable and perfect will of Yah. See, first of all, we must prove what is uh, that which is, uh, we must prove that which is tough. His will is tough and excellent. We must prove that which is acceptable, what he accepts and what he will not accept. Then we must prove what is the perfect will of Yah. All these attributes, we must prove. How do we prove it? We do it from our lives. We do everything because we delight in doing it, uh, that he has commissioned you to do it. The world commissioned you to be a, a man of folly and a daughter of frivolity and horror and wickedness. And you do it and you, you comply to that. You're very complicit with that. And Yah says, I show you how to present yourself to me. You're not a dead offering, but one that has high heel, high, a living offering. That I can parade you for the powers of darkness and they will see what a life offering is. Although you're dead, you have impaled your sins. You are alive because the Torah of your heart makes you bring the living offering. 
Can I tell you what that living offering is? It's simple. It is the testimony of Yeshua when you just walk the day long saying to the ya, to the ya. Torah for the Lamb Yeshua. It is the Torah that resonates out of your mouth. We're so cold, we don't even know how to say Torah. I say it all the time. You're boasting, no, I boast in Him because He has put something in my heart. He has not found, He has placed His Torah in my heart. That's why I delight in His will because I know His steps are perfect. His guidance leads me to the perfect order. You will know what a man loves, yeah. You will know when there's a great sound of todam. You go to these whole houses, you go to these whole houses of clubbing. There will be men in there tonight on canes, but they will they'll get up and they'll get around. That's a fact. There'll be, there will be women there that are crippled. Baby, I can't, I can't. My leg is hurting, but I, mm, come on. Mm, 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 mm. They will, it's just a fact. My daughter, I, I was out there, okay, for a short season. I know what's out there. I know what I'm saying. And we have no great excitement because we don't know the perfect will of Yah. Because we're not proving that which is tough. We're not proving what is acceptable. We don't say to one another, that's not acceptable to Yah. We won't say because we are doing the same damn thing. That's not acceptable to Yah. That's wrong. That's not the tough purpose of Yah. We don't say it. That's not how you treat your Achim. That's, you don't, you're not cold like that. We don't even have the ability to greet one another. We're so damn cold and stupid. I've never been that way. You say you don't talk to them. Well, I don't know. But then when I see men out there, I always speak, how you doing, man? <laughs> how you doing, my friend? I, and you know what? The thing of it is, when I, I know I'm going to speak to him, man. I just look at him. I watch his eyes. And, how you doing, sir? They go, yeah, oh. Yes, sir, how you doing? I, I just watch. I, I look right in their faces. And even though when some don't really want to look at me, I say, how you doing, sir? How's everything? Sure, I do. I do it all the time. I delight to know to Yada to experience the will of Yah. He has elected me to experience his pleasure. Ah, come on. He's elected us. That's why we give him all. We don't hold back nothing. Yeah. We don't hold back on our lies and our corruptions. Yeah. We don't hold back on our faults, we, but we hold that back. That's why we continue in those same ways. Yeah. That's why we're never delivered. That's why our hearts are bound, Yisrael. Yeah. Because David said, look, he says again, he says, I delight to do your will, O Yamaba. He says, your Torah is within my lap. His Torah is not in our hearts. We hold on to the filth, the misforgivings, uh, and all of these damn filthy things. We hold on to that. Uh. You hold on to your self-righteous line, Jezebel, sanctimonious uh, spirit. You're not right. Uh. You have no beauty of your walk. You don't strive in the way of Torah. You're phony as hell. That's what we are. We're full of pretense. We're not sincere. The man that works on himself and develops himself, you can see that. Uh, you will see so many times. A woman that does that, you will see her beauty. I don't care what she looks like. Uh, I don't care if she's 100 pounds or 200 pounds. You will see that. Uh. Thank you, my friend, Toda. I show you why I say that. Toda. It's an excellent truth. He's austere. He's going to get what he invested. He invested your shoe in you. And you think you're going to get him some of your filth of your flesh? He's not going to buy it. I precede the Father. I will, my friend. Not only was this given to the generations of Hanak time, but there was specificity that this is for the latter time. One thing that we must understand. One thing we must understand. He writes here in Hanak, the vision, the opening of the Sefer, the book, Hanak 37, verse 1 through verse 4. 
It says the vision which Hanak saw the second time, it was the vision of the wisdom which Hanak, the son of Yarit, the son of Mahael, and the son of Kinan, and the son of Hanak, and the son of Seth, Son of Adam, this is what he saw. It showed his genealogy, his lineage, who he came from. Don't tell me you can trace your lineage back 3,000 years. You are a flat out liar. There are no records to prove that. You are a liar. You're flat out a liar. I don't care if you call yourself a Jew, a Hebrew, a black man, white man, a Mexican. You are a damn flat out liar. Yes. Yeah. Now tell me you can trace your heritage back to King David's. Show me in the record. These damn dogs that are the masters of that, the Mormons, they tell you, they, why would you trust someone like that that can tell you your lineage? These bastards... They're spiritual perverts. Yes. You do well to trace it back 10 generations if you can. I can't trace mine back uh, but to my mother, my grandma. I, I don't care about that in that sense of natural genealogy. I have a birth that is so profound that Yah has hid me through this great tapestry of people. That's my genetics. Before I was ever formed in the belly of my Imayanu man. And he used the course, he used the very uh, nature of man to bring me forth. So I'm not concerned about uh, half a million people that brought me forth. I know I have a renewed birth or a renewing of my mind in your shoe. That's all that matters to me. Yeah? And those that do not do the will of my Abba, what are they to me? That doesn't mean I treat them wrong and do them wrong. I will do them right. But don't try to compel me. Don't try to convince me. You are a liar. He said, this is the beginning of the words of wisdom. He says, which I commence to uh, propound Saying to those, now this is what Hanak said, I said to those which dwell in the earth, he says, Shemak, he says, listen, now listen to me, you all. He says, listen, you first one, you of this first generation, you of this initial generation, he said, listen, you first ones. He says, and you, I want you to look, you last ones, you that are in the last generation, I want you to look. He said, the words of the Kodash one, the words of Yah, he said, which I teach you uh, before Yahweh of Sava. He said, he's the one of hosts. Uh, Sava, he's the one uh, of the great armies of the heavens. Uh, he said, so I teach you. So the things I'm saying to you are uh, there before Yah. He sits in the heavens. Uh, the earth is his footstool. Uh, and he watches over, if you are his heritage, uh, he watches over you. Uh, I speak to word you from the wolves. Uh, and the false one. I'm not going to let the wolf come in here. I'm not going to let the wolf come in here. I'm not going to do it. They're not coming here. I'm not going to let the wolf, wolf devour you. He says this. It is tough. Verse 3. It is excellent. It is such a privilege. To declare these words. To those a former time. But one should not withhold the beginning of wisdom from those of the latter days. You can't withhold the wisdom that was poured out in the beginning from the latter days. And that's the Simon of the elders. Hell, you don't wait till you get here and study what I'm saying. You wait till you get here and listen to what I'm saying. And you go and build upon that. So he said, it is a, it's a damnable shame of all this profound of the wisdom uh, that, that my righteousness, when men see me, when they see my walk, they see a profound man. They see character and strength. Yeah. 
He said, for me, just for those of the former days, uh, and not share this with those of the Akharith, the latter days. Uh, it can't be. Why, Hanach? He says, until now, such wisdom, which I have received, as I recite it, listen to this. He said, everything I say. I recite it. I speak it to you. I speak everything to you. According, accordance, or in accordance, according to the very mandate, in accordance with the will of Almighty God. Yeah. Everything that is spoken, written, it is in accordance with the will of Yah, and our lives must represent that. The discipline of our lives must represent that. Hallelujah. It must represent that. He said, these words I speak, it is in accordance. It is complicit to the will, to the will of Yah. Hallelujah. Everything must be in accordance to the will, according to what he has put in our love, according to Torah. So this is what he presents unto us. Well, what is that? Uh, what is the power of that wisdom that has been revealed unto us that Hanak says uh, that this wisdom will be stored upon us according to the will of the, Yeah, it is the revelation of the power of his Torah. It is the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. That's what it is. It is that great revelation. It is that wisdom uh, of your sure, it is the power of understanding uh, of the very nature of Yah. He is not insensitive unto us uh, as a nation uh, of people, but He knows the very wickedness. That's why He bore all of our sins in His body. And everything must be in accordance to the will of Yah. He said, it's, it's bestowed in accordance with the will of Yah of hosts, had not been bestowed upon me before the face of Yah of hosts. He had never let me know this. That's why, Yisra'ya, we as men, there are things that we must understand the simple truth of it. That's why men must labor. You've got to get out of your wicked ways, men. You are that are so damn full of anger. You look angry. You look mad. You've got to get out of that. You simple, silly men that have no ability of, of tentativeness, You have no ability of attentiveness. That's all right. You can't even see beyond your wicked flesh. We need men that see beyond that construct. We got to see beyond that, Yisrael. Yeah? He said, this wisdom is so profound according to the will of Yah. We want to understand the power and the demonstration of Torah in accordance of the perfect will of Yah. He says, from him. Why? Because it is the lot of eternal life. It is your lot of eternal life. You don't understand that which is in accordance to the perfect will of Yah, the will of Yah. We have no eternal life. The lot of eternal life that has been given to me. The wisdom I teach, he said, it grants unto us the eternal life of Yah for the latter days. For us to understand, we need men like that. We need strong men. We need their strength to be resolute. For them to be strong, we need all men to be examples. To teach the young men the beauty of a man. And the strength and the character of a man. That the young daughters of Tizayon or Sion will see that. And understand the beautiful man, not somebody laughing and clowning with him. A clown with no man's wife. Don't come here, you and your wife, thinking I'm going to sit down and clown with you. A clown with no man's wife. A clown with no man's daughters. Never have. Never have. Never sat down with women who are laughing and in that. Never. Never! I don't play that. I don't go that route. And will not go that route. I want my disposition to be distinguished according to this book. I don't want to lay out a false, uh, false paradigm. Yeah. 
This is a stupid generation. I want to finish this, all right? Hallelujah. I am an austere man. I am one that is very sober. I'm harsh, too. I am very inflexible. I am very inflexible. I am. I am very unfeeling. I'm very stern and I'm very strict. Shaul says here in the book of Ephesians, he tends to hear, he wants to show us there's a certain behavior that we must operate in in order for us to understand our duties unto Yah. So he speaks in Ephesians, Ephesus 5, 15. Hear this, please, Yisrael. He says, you're eyeing or seeing then that you walk circumspectly. Do you understand what the word circumspectly means? Do you understand what circumspectly is? I will tell you. It simply implies this, that you walk in a way that every aspect aspect of your life is detailed. You can comment on every, every detail of your life is in order. We must walk circumspectly. How do we get that kind of circumspectly walk by what he has put in our hearts by Torah? Yeah. We must get that, Yisra'ya. Yeah. So our lives must be detailed, analyzed to the very smallest of components. Now this is what it says. I know we will see that word and we've been taught, oh, it means you got to walk right. No, it's more, it's more detailed than walking right. When someone details a car, Shonaf, uh, they get the vents and everything. You don't find nothing. That's a fact. You don't find no dust. They get it. They get it all, baby. We must get every little thing out of our lives. Yeah. See that we walk circumspectly. Watch all. He said, uh, and circumspectly, and that we must be alert. We must be aware. We must be alert to those foreign things that always spring up in our minds, in our hearts, in our actions, in our activities. We must be alert. He said, not as evil, not as fools. Don't be foolish. Don't do anything to draw attention to you. Don't do anything. He said, not as fools. He said, but as those that are wise, wise men and wise women with the, with the beauty of wisdom. He goes on to say in the next verse, he said, this is what you need to begin to do. He said, you must begin to redeem, redeeming or take advantage. You know what you did yesterday. Take advantage of the day that you missed out on yesterday, don't do it. He said, redeeming or taking advantage. Uh, taking advantage, redeeming the time uh, and the opportunities. Uh, he said, you are given. He gives us opportunity to all front to him. He gives us opportunity to come before him. So we must take advantage. Uh, he said, because the days are evil. You all believe that? I do. Yeah, yeah. He said, therefore, be not unwise. Uh, he said, don't be un unwise, don't be ignorant. He said, but you must understand what the will of Almighty Yahweh is. We must understand what the will of Yah is. We must, Israel. I implore all of you, man, to teach and to speak, but you're not getting up here with your stupidity and your juvenile, immature ways of trying to, I will not allow you to do it. You've got something of strength. It's going to be in your character. 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 He says, we must understand what the perfect will of Yah is. And don't become drunken with the Yah Yen or the wine wherein it is excess. But we must be filled with the Ruach. We must be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. And the Ruach guides us into all Torah. It guides us what he has put in our heart. He, it guides us. That's why we don't need no man to teach you anything. When it comes to the disciplines of the truths of Yah, we don't need anything. What, what this man does, what a man does, he, 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 as Azarkain says often, he calls, us his, he calls us to be reminded of that, what he has, the treasure he has put in us. And so we teach to remind you of that and stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. And you remember, although you have not been taught the details and the depth of that, but there's a life in you that rises up and say, this is the truth. I've heard that before. Whether you heard it in a dream or some kind of a vision, if you want to say, I've heard that. I've heard that. 
And then you will know, you will understand. When you know, you understand the perfect will of God. This is the results, he says uh, in Ephesians 5, 19. Uh, he used the word Asa, Ephesians 5 and 19. Listen to this. He says, speaking to yourselves in Tehillim and Psalms. That's what you do. You speak to yourselves in the Psalms of Almighty Yah. Speak to yourself in Psalms. And Hallel. You're going to praise Yah. Do, we, do you really praise Him? Be honest with yourself. You don't hardly even praise Him. Very few of us do that. He says, praise in Yah. In spiritual songs, you sing in going down to the water of Zion. Come on, Bruh Abner. Going down to the wood. Some of y'all are dead as hell. Sin got you dead. He means what he says. That's not hard to do. Singing the songs of Yah. Yeah, I watch every damn thing. When, when, if you want a job, the man, he, he, they, they, when you want you a job, the, 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 the big supervisor, he sometimes he stand and watch everybody. He got a problem. And hell, we sat in here, boy, we can't, we just so, we so laid back and fly, we can't even move for Yah. And that's just the truth that's wrong. Yeah. Going down to the water of the time that I am. Going down. Stop that. I'm not ashamed. You will know that you're delighting in His will when you began to respond, when the songs began to flow from your heart. We're dead and we're cold. We're dead and we're cold. We're dead. Sin got us dead. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. When the operation of sin is finished in your mind, you don't have no love for Yah. There's no life for Yah. You're dead in your sins of your own corruption. You will know. Come out there in the garden, work with me. You'll find out. We're going to have a great time in the morning. Hallelujah. We're going to have, my friend, I said to him, whatever you want for Sunday. Well, why don't you do it for me because he's special. He's special. Everything the world has done to him said to him, he's special. I'm not special. He began, to, I said, no, 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 just write it down. So I gave him a rafe, I said, this is for breakfast. We want, uh, you all eat well, don't worry. We want uh, French toast, grits. We want oatmeal. We don't want the hard eggs. We want scrambled eggs with cheese. And that's just the breakfast. He is special. There's something sad with you. For dinner, I'm strambling. Oxymion, we go to your man, get me some sweet potatoes. We got them. He wants candy yam. He wants fried chicken. He doesn't like it spicy. He wants mac and cheese. And he wants carrots. And then he wants cranberry. That's what he wants. You all don't understand that. Why would I do that for him? We're so immature, wicked. I don't need nothing special. I ask him to do that. I want him to get his belly full. I'll be out there bending and get his belly full and nice and right. Come on. Get it done. See, there are those we don't esteem as much as others. Because one's skill set not, may not be like others in the degree that he can build and all that. And we're so damn stupid and dumb, we can't understand the value and the importance. So we're going to have what he. I said, I said, what are we having? She said, well, we're having teriyaki. I said, no, no. Even if they had had it all, that we going we had the teriyaki some other time. We have fried chicken. He doesn't like no spicy chicken. Well, well, you can tone it down. No, 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 no. We're gonna get the kind that is not needing toned down. How about that? Mm. That's the kind, and make it crispy. 
He never complains to you. He has never. That he has not. I fuss. And he never railed against me. We're going to have a nice breakfast in the morning. Get that belly fat so we can work. I'm going to close in a moment. That's all right. Whether I close in a moment or not. Hallelujah. He says that we must sing. Look at this in Ephesians 5.19. Speaking to ourselves. We speak to ourselves with hatred. We speak to ourselves with our cold nature. He said we must speak to ourselves in Tehillim and Psalms. And in Hallel, praise Yah, praise I finished, I said to Ak Yosef yesterday, you go on. I was talking to my friend. And of course I had a bag full of onion bulbs, probably. I said, you go on, yo, I got this. He said, you, you, you sure? I said, I got it, man. I want to talk to this man. When I finished with him, I said, now you go on so I can get it done. And when I drop down, when I drop down, I don't get back up. See, when I drop down like this, I plant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I go that way. That's how I do it. Five here. I can reach, put ten here. But halfway down, I said, ooh. Yeah. No use of standing up. Get it down here. That's how I do it. Then when I get it all done, I look back and say, oh, that's, I like that. Got it all done. Huh? And let's go back and start over again. That's my rest bit between that. Then I roll. I remember one time I was I came bit him in. He thought he was tough. He didn't realize he was dealing with a machine. <clears throat> I know you're listening, Zakim. <clears throat> and we had the castle guard, not 500, not 500 feet, or 500 foot, forgive me, 500 feet. Those rows were around 400 feet long. And you got those okras about six inches apart. Had all the boys, they thought they were tough. So Zach came bit of me, and he pride himself on. He had this, uh, he had this adamant spirit that I, I'll get you. I say, my friend, you have messed up already when you got in front of me. You're going to work along with me. I didn't say nothing. And I knew, see, I, I start off in a way, I know you're listening, friend. I start off in a way to see, see what they got. And, and I watch for one thing. One thing. See, when they would get up, got him. And so I pressed him. Until he had to get up, I said, ah, oh, no, nah. I know I got him now. And I rolled down that row. He was, he was sweating like a mule. Man. I was too now. He was sweating. And I rolled down the row. And then you know what I will always do with him? I wait for them. Let them catch up with me again. And then I get back down. See, they get up a little bit. See, they, you're wasting five, six holes when you get up. And I stretch it out. That's how I do it. And I just, when I, when I get in there... You see, I just slide along like this, <laughs> like that, <laughs> like that. As I do, <laughs> you like that, and I get that. That's right, mama. And I put him in the hole. And I can reach. I got, I got some long. See that, see that span? Long span. That's right, boy. Don't come here. Think you can hang with me? I got one. He, he he's tough. But I like him. I like him. Come on. He tries to show off, but that's all right. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah. That's how I do it, Mama. That's how I do it. Because I'm sincere in what I do. I want to do it. It's not hard for me to do it. I'm excited about tomorrow. You know why I'm excited about tomorrow for one thing? I want to see how fast I can get it done. That's what I'm excited about. And get it done right. That's what I'm excited about. I'm not, it's not a drudge to me to plant. That's 3,500 plants, that's nothing. That is nothing to me. I mean, it's 5,000 above you, you're talking about something. 3,500 plants, that, that, that's nothing. I, I said that. I'll, I'll be done. We'll be done by two. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. Trust me, man. You get a chance to break and eat lunch, and I'll, I'll roll on until you get back. 
I want to close in a moment. Hear, hear this now. He says in the book of, uh, of Ephesians, uh, singing, making melodies in your love to Yah. See why? Because we know we have this Torah of great love in us. We have this Torah. I delight to do your will. Your Torah is within my heart. And then he says this. He says, given, given huda yada toda to Yah always for all things. We don't do it. We don't do it. We don't say to ya to ya. I said to my issue, I said, that little heifer, I said, poor, I, I sing songs. I just make them up as I go. I don't know what I'm going to do. I make them. And they like the running song. Running in your shoes, name, yes, we are. Coming down the road of Yah, got your shoe on my mind. I'm a warrior of Yah, oh, I'm running this race, running in the name of Yah. Sure, I'm a shoe, oh, I'm running, running in your shoe's name, yes, I am. Running, running, running in your Jewish name. Oh, I'm running, running, running in your Jewish name. Yeah. I said to my issue, I said, that little heifer, I can sing for 10 minutes. And that little heifer doesn't need a beat running. The other one, they... <sighs> And that little heifer, she closed her mouth and she just got her. Yeah. <laughs> you think she get a little tired? She, she just rolled. I'm not talking about she, 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 she. She never slows down. Never. Her beat is always the same. It's true. You must well love me. I, I know I'm not lovable. <laughs> But you might as well love me. He says always, we should always give Torah to you for all things, Abba, in the name of our master, Yoshua HaMashiach. And then when we're done that, we should submit ourselves, obey one. Submitting yourselves to one another in the fear of Yah. That's what you do. Learn how to submit yourselves to each other. To love each other. To submit yourself that you understand the position, the condition of one. That you will love them if you're in that condition. You understand that you understand that. That's what we must do. We must give thanks to all things. We don't do it, Yisraya. This is the perfect will of Yah. Trials you give thanks. Battles you give thanks. Reproof you get strength. Thanks. Rebuke you give thanks. It's amazing that we are people that say we love Yah and we know we love Him. But you know, th those that He loves, He always chasing, doesn't He? And yet, unless someone chasing you, you act like a little kid. We get upset and get mad. You we do. We don't want to tell us nothing. Tell me, y'all. Correct me. Is that a man that I sit in this pulpit that when they say something, it doesn't correct me. I want everything. I'm the only man that will let you know that I'm guilty of it, y'all. I don't care what it is. If it's adultery, I'm guilty of it. I don't care if it's stealing, I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. Yeah, I'm guilty of it. Yeah. I am. You're never guilty of one damn thing. That's why the Torah says, so be it, let, so be it, so be it. It simply says, oh, man. It's a sure thing. It's me. Oh, oh me. I'm, I'm an adulterous damn dog. I'm a filthy pig. I'm a swine. I'm a liar. I'm all of that. There's nothing about me that elevates me. He shall. He is the one that elevates me. Why do I say that? Because if I sin. If I disobey one principle of the Torah, I'm guilty of them all, my friend. If we go together, I shoot somebody, we both go into the pen. No different. So I'm guilty by association of the things I've done. I'm, I, I've broken every rule there is. I'm not some self-righteous liar and some pig. 
And so when a man talks about sin, that's me. I wore my eye need. I, I need you above all men. This damn wicked generation, it doesn't know why. Because you haven't been forgiven much. Uh, you think you're so damn self-righteous and so righteous. Uh, you think you got something. You haven't been forgiven much. To whom uh, much is forgiven, they think, yeah, much. Uh, to whom little is forgiven, they don't give a damn. Uh, yeah, you do that when you're confronted by the issues uh, of our own damn wicked hearts. Uh, You only do it because someone tells you to respond. This is what the Torah tells you to do. Uh, we're so damn wicked, we don't realize uh, our wickedness is it's despicable. We stink. We stink with a vile odor. The will of Yah. I want to please you, Yah. Forgive me. Yahshua talks about two sons. They love the father. They both said. He said to one, you do this for me. Yes, sir, daddy. Got it. Tell me, so you do this? And as he walks, she said, my daddy been so tough to me. He takes care of me. Oh, oh daddy. Uh, I'm so sorry. I should have said that. I'm so wrong, daddy. And he went did an excellent job. And the one said, yes, yes, sure, I love you, preacher. I stand with you. She's like that coward that I saw. I said, you're the most cowardly man I've ever met, you damn dog. And the boy that did it, he cried because he knew he was wrong. What you did yesterday was wrong. What we did was wrong. Now today, there should be a revolutionary change in it. And he says to them, he says, which one did the will of his father? The one that said, I'll do it? And then showed himself to be a damn dog? Or the one who was angry when the daddy said something, but as he went, he began to understand the benefits of his father. We don't understand the benefit, even if it's directed to you. I don't care if it's directed to you. I don't care if it's directed to you, 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 you. It makes me no damn different. The benefit that y'all would even point out your slothful, wicked ways to, to show you. You know that that's right. If they were right, he would not have to point them out. So which one, which one did the will of his father? Yeah, which one did the will? Oh, I'll do this and you don't do it. And the one you say, come on, brother. Man, I'm, I'm tired, Riyak. Then when they realize, man, I shouldn't have spoke to him that way. I shouldn't have did that to Rhea. Dress she right and cover down. Forty inches all around. We the soldiers of Yah. In the army of Yah. Listen to this. Given total always to Yah for all things as we submit ourselves to one another. Well, I, I'm in the will of Yah. Well, let me show you. Thessalonica, First Thessalonica. I want to show you what the will of Yah is. Something so simple. This is the perfect will of Yah. Listen to this. First Thessalonica, you'll write it down. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. See, we're looking for something extravagant. We to, 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 to climb Rush, Mount Rushmore or something. Let me show the perfect person of Yah's perfect will. Shaul says, in everything give Todah. Thank you, thank you, Yahweh. Blessed be your name, oh, to da, to da, Yahweh. For your shoes, oh, you woke me up today, and you gave me mighty trials. I want to talk to to the Yah for another day, oh, I will. Mm -hmm. Bless the name of Yahweh, all of my trials, oh, you brought me through all of them days and nights. Oh, to da, to da, Yahweh, when I could not fight, oh, you fought, fought the battle for me, yes, you did, oh, when I was weary, tired, I couldn't go home. Yahshua spoke 
to me by the living Torah. Oh, I got up out of my bed, kneel before my upper, so I could take ya. Wait for one more night. Yes, I did. Oh, to da, to da, Yahweh. Blessed be your name, oh, to da, Yahweh. For every trial, oh, to, to da, Yahweh. Oh, for every pain, I want to to da, Yahweh. One more day, one more course. To da, to da, Yahweh. For all of your correction, oh, you put the rod on me. Your staff drew me to you. I want to to da, to da, to da, Yamaba. Oh, 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 you done. Hallelujah. Ah. Evangelist Hartsfield, there was this person, of course we call her sister, she would always say to me, Brother Roberts, you're too serious, you're so, so tight. I remember rebuking her, shut your mouth, woman. I've seen the way you interact with your husband, man. I rebuke you. She said, you're too serious. I am serious about living. I want to live, man. I don't want to die. I'm living to live. I will have me asleep, but I'm living to live. She said, you're so serious. And of course, when I rebuked her, he came and said, I got a problem with you. I got a bone to pick. I said, pick it. Pick it, boy, because I will rebuke her again. Then when I began to talk to him, he began to, yeah, she is that way. And the last time I saw him, the woman, she's turned him into a, to a little boy, a punk. Shaul says in Thessalonica, yeah, in everything give Torah, for this is the will of Yah. See, that is the perfect will of Yah. Why? Because there's a great trust. You know, Yah, this is the will of Yah. This is the will of Yah. Of Yah in Yahshua Hamashiach concerning you. So in everything we should give to That's Yah's will. See, we don't, we don't even utilize that word Torah. Thank you, Yah. We don't say thank you, Yah. We just don't say. We don't say to the Achim. We are the, we, we ought to. You say Barak. When you say Barak, you say, I submit to you. I'm bound before you. I love you. I bow. That's what the word Barak means. It's just, a, it's, just a, it's, just a, it's just a word to us. It has no value. That's it. And so everything we give Torah unto Yah, that's how we know that we have this living truth in us. That's His will. This is the will of Yah in your sure Affliction, Torah. If something happens, you say, Torah, Yah, Torah. I bless you, Yah. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's a part of my, my attitude. You give Torah to Yah for everything. You afflict it, Torah, Yah. Try it, Torah, Yah. 
Ah, because he's mighty. He's mighty. I was looking at the word awesome the other day and see what Torah said about awesome. Then when I began to see what it says about awesome, you know, it's not what we think the word awesome means. I'm a simple man. I'm not smart like some of you. I don't know everything. I don't know everything he knows. I don't know everything he knows. I don't know everything he knows. I don't know everything. I don't know that. I can't extrapolate from Torah like you. I can't talk like from Torah like him. I can't talk from Torah like him. I don't talk with the wisdom he got. 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 I don't talk with the wisdom you have. You understand? I'm glad. I'm glad that this finger right here does what this one cannot do. I can do that with that now. See that one right there? See this? I'm glad that they're independent individual parts of the body, but we're all equal. I'm glad you know more than I know. I'm glad you can talk like me. I'm glad you can speak like me. I'm glad. But I don't see you giving total to Yah. Don't tell me you can do what I do. Because you can. For this is the will of Yah. I know his will to give Torah. You got an attitude, just get Torah. Yah, Torah. Help. Help thou my unbelief. Help thou. As the publican, war am I, wicked, perverted thing? Torah, Yah. That you reminded me how filthy. Torah, Yah, that you showed me. Torah, Yah. And everything you should give Torah. I don't care what it seemed like. Torah, Torah, Yah. Try it, Torah, Yah. Hallelujah. 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 Are we all going into the kingdom? Now, I've shown us some of the simplicity of Yah's will. This is what Yahshua says in Metita Yah. We not, cannot just be a hearer. We must be a doer of his Torah. He says in Matthew 7, 21, Not everyone that says to me, Master, Master, shall enter into the kingdom of Hashemayim. But he that does the will, not just will, but the will of my Abba, which is in the Shemayim. How do we know what the will of Yah is? He makes a statement in this verse, Hadassah, how do we know? What David told us, I delight to do your pleasure. My heart fates is to do what pleases you, Yah, for your Torah. The Torah outlines what pleases Yah. The Torah shows us to bring the clean offering unto Yah. And the offering that is ceremoniously clean, we should do it. How do we know we have a clean offering? Something that we don't want to do. Can I show you what? I, I tell us to do it because there's a reason behind it. The Torah Shaul said, I would that all men everywhere lift up clean hands. And we don't have the ability to lift up hands because they're filthy as a damn dirty pig. Yeah. Yeah. They lift up clean hands and met, met everywhere pray. That in our hands, we should learn how to lift our hands and lift them up unto Yah. To I surrender all, we should learn how to do that. You damn stubborn ones, you're wicked. You're self-righteous pig. He said, with an old man lift up there. Oh man. That's where you know you're getting somewhere with Yah. That's when you know. You see, it's something that simple we have. You think you got the obedience and the love of Yah with something that simple. We don't even know how to do it. We're liars. See, something like that, Yah can't even, he can't even motivate us to do that. You understand? Something is wicked in your mind. Something is twisted here. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't care who you are. He's talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you, rebellious one. Hallelujah. I don't care who you are. Lift your hands in your homes. You, that's right. And all things we get told out. Why does he tell us that? That those that can't lift their arms. That those that can't get up out of the bed today. And they're not complaining. They're not complaining. And those that have no ability. There are men. There are men. There are men that lay like this and can't do anything. Someone got to lift them up. They can't do nothing. And they wish they could. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are women that are flat on their back. Someone must turn them over. You don't see the tears falling they wish. You want to help me out? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Hallel
If I can't do them, I just raise my hand. When the bottom of my life is over, when the battles of life, life is over, when the battles of life, all my trials are over, you know that I am. I shall wear the crown of young. He was singing like this. You know I may, may be blind. When it's over, you know I may not, can raise my hands. When it's all over, when it's over. I may not can walk when the trial is over, but I don't know that I shall wear the crown of young. It goes a little something like this. Oh, I know it won't be very long. I shall enter the bosom of young. Oh, it will not be very long. I shall enter bosom of God. Oh, I may not can walk and I may not can talk. Listen, but I shall do all that Yah commands me. I will do it. Hallelujah. I shall. I like this man sometimes. Sometimes I don't give a damn about him. I don't like him. But I do love him. I do. Hallelujah. Those that do the will of God, they are the one. Will be the ones that will enter into the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh and Yahshua. I will read these last two verses, few verses before I close. Yeshua had one will, purpose. He was sent to do the will of his father. He did not have a will. The one who sent him gave him the will. There are many scriptures that those three words, the will, of Yah. That's in Torah. You have to search them. You have to be diligent. But the psalm of Yahshua, he says this here. Hallelujah. I will read these few verses. He says in Yakachan, John chapter 4, verse 34. He says, Yahshua said to them, My lecture, my meat, my bread offering is to do the will of him that sent me and finish his work. That's our meat. When we are weary and tired, we eat the meat of his will. You give to down. You sing to yourselves in psalms and, and revelation of great helium, words of wisdom, you speak to your mind. He said, that's my meat. I get more excitement. Listen. I'm going to get excited about that fried chicken tomorrow. And yam potatoes. I ask you how he likes his yam potatoes. I want them to be cooked where he likes them. And I like the way Ima Bazia make them. I mean, I don't mess with them that often, but when she do, they, they will captivate you. They will mess you up. So you can't have them every once a month. You got to have them on a special occasion. So tomorrow be special for my friend. How about that? Yeshua also implied, I can do nothing of myself. I can do of my own self. I can do nothing. Lord, there's nothing I can do. He says, as I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. Because I seek not my own will. But the will. But the will. Of Almighty Yah that has sent me. He says, I'm not trying to please me. I'm pleasing him that has sent me. 
I come in that precious name. My judgment is sure because he sent me to judge. Not to do my own will, but the will of Almighty God. And he tells us that perfect will. Yoshua says in Yaqahan 640, and this is the will of Almighty Yahweh that sent me. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Now, I, that makes me want to cry when I read this now. I, I'm going to hold back my tears. All right, daughter. He says, and this is, and this is the will of Yah that sent me. That everyone whose heart is open or sees the Son and believes on Him may have everlasting life. He said, I'll raise Him up in the last days. And that's the wisdom of Hanak speaking. Oh, I want to see you look upon His face. He said, we'll raise him up. So I did get my raising in. He said, I will raise him up. I'll raise him up in the last days. That is the will of God. That I will raise him up in the last days. Now see, I get uncontrollable with that. Now I don't want to go that way, all right? He said, I will. He laid down everything. And he can raise us up. There is nothing that transpires in our lives. The affliction, the trial. But God has not commanded. That's why he wants us to give him total. He wants us to lift up. We've been taught all these weeks. The Zabak, the praise, the offering of Yah. I want Yah to correct me. I want him to judge me and correct me. Correct me in thy judgment and not in your Ebra. At least you bring me to nothing. I want him, I want him to correct me. Now he said that to us, that he has come to do the will of the Father, to please him. And his pleasure is one thing. I'm going to sum it up here. That he is able to raise up us again by the same power of, the, uh, of Yah's word. He shall raise us up. And what man could characterize this in his purest of essence? Like Shaul, oh, there was another one that could. And he speaks so indelibly here to us in Galatia, in the book of Galatia. He says this, here at Yisrael, Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. He said, you're sure, who gave himself for our That he might deliver us from this present evil world. Why? According. According to the will of Almighty Yah. That was according to his will. Yitzhak said hasten to do the will of Yah and to please him. He did it according to Yah's will. He did it because Yah commanded. And I want to close with what we must do. I will read it. I'm not going to tell you where it's at. It's in the book. The messenger says, for we as a nation, we have need of patience. The ability to endure without complaining. We cannot complain. The ability to insulate ourselves with what's in us. We have need now. We all have need of patience. Why, y'all? That after you have done the will of Yah, that we might receive the promises 
granted unto our forefathers. We have need of patience. Keep very met, I will teach on that. The need of patience, I promise you that. We have the need of patience. We all. That when all of this, when we have done the will of Yah, we have performed all that he commands us, then we receive the Dabarim, the promises, the word that he has promised unto us, and the kingdom which dwells within us, that we will see the light and the manifestation upon that. In the renewed Olam. What a great blessing. A reward that is beyond our comprehension and ability to understand the depths and the magnitude of it. The will. The perfect will of Yah. So it's not something that is something that is monstrous. It is simple. And it's outlined in the Torah of Almighty Yah. Maybe you have heard it much more simply than that. I would like to hear the simplicity of this teaching. If it's any more simpler than that. You understand? I would love to hear that. You're not going to find it any more simpler. You will find it with all kinds of diction and all kinds of, uh, uh, of dictates and all kinds of pseudo-official things. You're not going to find it any simpler than this. It is the truth that we must abide in. So we've done all we've done. Let us endure. Let us not complain. See, that's the will of Yah that you give told on everything. When you don't give told on, you will complain. I don't care who you are. You will see something that is wrong with everyone, but never you. We that are the strong men, we must watch the gates. We must bear one another up, and the only way you can do that, you pick up that thing. Pick it up. Get up on your head and quit acting like a boy. Act like a man. You're not a man. Man doesn't do what you do. They would say that in my days. A man doesn't perform like that. No, no, that's not a man's attitude. You're a boy. Oh, Ramon. No, you're a little boy. We can throw down on that one. Now, come on. Then the man knocks the boy out. And then he goes and, and, and heals him and mollifies his. Sure, they would do. You all right? And he would take him on his wing. Just like the young man came, he said, he looks over there and he saw my issue, so he was somewhat surprised. Yeah, he was. And then he says to me, he says, he said, look, I, I need a mentor. I need someone to teach me. And every time I see look at I get, get on him. I say, you're a knucklehead, man. He's a hardworking young man, two jobs. I like the young fellow. I like him. I really do. I'm coming out to help you work preacher. I say, boy, I'll break your back. I said, I'll kill you. You can't work with me, boy. You're a little boy. He doesn't say, well, hold, hold, hold up, dog, come up. No, he doesn't talk to me like that. He said, I need a mentor. I need someone to help me and teach me, show me. Is that what he said? He said, I need that. All those men come to that place of business. Why would he tell me that? Because I'm not like the rest of those men. I'm not like them. I'm not like those men that go in there. I'm different than those men. My personality personifies a different level than those men that go there. And there are teachers and lawyers and all go there. He said, I need a mentor, someone like you. I need. Next time I said, come on, work with me one day, boy. Come on down for two days. I'm going to break your back, first of all. Break your spirit. Yeah, I will break his spirit. If he comes, I will, I will kill him. I want to. That's why I kill you. Your filthy flesh rise up. It's a shame. Our carnal mind is enmity. It hates the Torah of Yah. It's a shame. I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, I was saying to her husband yesterday, I said, you know, as a young boy, I remember crying to Yah, you give me sons and daughters. I didn't know him. I don't want them to go through what I have. I will love my sons and I will love my daughters. I will bring them up in the nurturing and the fear of Yah. I want to be a father. I said, well, he's just never given me any. I'm not sad. You know, that time to think about it, but I'm all right. Never.
Don't weep for me. I got enough. Believe me. I got enough. Nobody gets that but you all. Nobody. You have to do that. I was in Europe, military, the ten table, middle of the dashboard, where you had to go. I checked. What's up? How you doing? Good morning. That's how you have to do it. Morning. You had to swab and you did it with a little style every but you had to do it. Then when you finish eating, you had to do it again. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it's, you got to do it. You had to. You didn't do that. Like, what's up? Whoa. You think them ball players, they think they got some daps. We had daps. We had some daps that take you 10 minutes to do it. You, you, you worked it right, man. We had daps. Them cats coming back from Vietnam. They coming back from Vietnam, and we would dap it up. And with that 10 or 15 black men, you had to dap every last one. You have to greet them, that's how you greeted them. Chest bump, chest bump, hug, and you It was out of the street. I'm telling you, man, if you looked at that, you said, yeah, you're laughing now, you look back, you said, wow, cats in there. And, and, then, they, and then they miss a beat. And you know when we miss a beat, when we miss a beat, and they get right back from them. the great friendship of camaraderie. I'm telling you. You didn't mess with one, even if you know him, you don't mess with that one. We hurt you. We would stomp you. Yeah, we would. You over here in Germany, but don't mess with one of them because you're going to be in trouble. They didn't mess with us. The Germans didn't mess with us. I say it. I'm not. It's one thing about the Germans, most of them, especially the young ones. When they see men at the diaspora, the color, they marvel at them. My boy, he was taller than Zakane, TK. He's big, he was, he's about 6'5", TK about 6'7", basketball player. Don Wong's about big as him, and I'm the nub in the middle. Big, tall men, fabulous dresses. TK put on something, he was, he was, he was straight. He's a big man. His hands were twice as mine. He, that man had some big hands. And I was telling Uncle Simeon, I remember one day, we, the little time we were in, it was called Convistai. And of course, we would get dressed up in the evening, let's go. The large city was, was called Stuttgart. In the spring of the year, in the fall, it was so beautiful. The country where the, temp, the summers, you're talking about maybe 70 degrees. So it's just, just very nice. You got on your nice cardigan with a nice pair. I was, back then, I would spend $150 for a pair of blue jeans. That's what they cost over there. Back then, in the 70s. But I had a cunning way to get mine, you understand? Leather coat. I don't like leather coats, even to this day. And I recall we were marching out the Convestan, I look concerned. You walk out, and you have these taxes just lined up because they know the military boys. They like to, you didn't have cars, so you jump in a taxi, you were getting three marks, three marks, 15 pennies, three every one dollar. So you had money. So we walk out, but we, my boys, we used to like, the Bonhoeff was like walking from here to, to Jefferson, Center City. But along the way, you had all these old homes and people, and we walked down the street all through. I'm always in the middle because they're tall. I'm the little nub in the middle. And these tall men, I'm always in the middle. Uh, and people would lean out their windows and they would look, and they, they just marvel. <laughs> they see someone this color, you're just like, wow. Wow, wow. And I recall one day, a lot to you or not, it was one Saturday, I said, let's, let's go to Stuttgart, see, we'll do some shopping, you know, just, just go to the city. It was about noon. So we would not catch a taxi, we liked to walk. We would take that walk and walk down to the Convest and just stroll along, and they had some of the most beautiful pastries you could eat. Sometime I buy 10 or 15, I'm just take a bite I want. I don't like that one. That one. Ooh, I should have got more of these. I buy, buy a bag of pastries. 
I didn't eat them. I made a few of them. But they were so pretty. Give me one of those. Oh, TK, man, give me one of those. What are you going to say? No, 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 give me some of that. Give me a big piece of cheese, and I don't eat cheese. And walking out, yeah. Give me one of those. I was a little old fella. I had about a 32 inch, 30 inch. I was little, but I couldn't eat all that. It was just my eyes. It was just so pretty. You can have my body. <laughs> I had to have it. Give me one of those. Oh, that's a lemon. What? Give me one of those. It's just a lemon. Give me one of those. Give me, give me one of those. Give, give me two of those. Give me one of those. And you walk around to this big old bag and a big old hunk of cheese like that. I would eat some of this one and eat a little cheese to kind of clean my palate. And so that Saturday morning, we walking down into, into, Stutt, into, Con, into Convestein, and there was a parade. Everybody's at the parade. I lied to you not. And here come TK, this big tall captain, Don Juan. Don Juan was a pretty boy. That's why we call him Don Juan. He was so hot. So I said, look at you, man. You know you're fine. Eh? He was so cool. He was cooler than cool. I don't know what he's doing now. He may be in prison 100 years. He wrote me. He said, man, I'm running stuff from Mexico to Miami. I'm making a lot of money. I'm not going your way when I get out of here. Uh-uh. And find myself dead in the cartel. And we began to walk down the street. And this, everything, they got bands and this scala of activities. And we began to approach the parade. Everything stops. Everything, a lot of you not. The people were paying attention. They just turned around and like, oh, hi. <laughs> and I did. They marveled. And of course, when they would do that, when I realized they were doing, we would step it up then, TK, big as he was. All right. We would just step it up. Even the band stopped playing. I'm not lying, y'all. They about to just turn to see the strange hue of the skin of these people, and they look, they were like, who? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> it's the truth. A lot to you not. That is the truth. May Yabrakyo. Come on, Azakin. Bless you all. You that have joined us, send us an offering. Help us in this walk that we may fulfill the royal command of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We do tell the Yahweh, as we do so many times, Israel Yah for another day. He has given us. He has given us his Torah. He has Shalak. He has sent his fiery emblem, his his stone from the Shemayams. That we may, maybe all we set on fire, Yisrael, that we do according to what Torah has commanded, what we have heard today, to the fullest. I mean, this is what we live for, Yisrael. Yeah. This is why we live, yeah. to obey what Yah has commanded us and has charged us to do, just as Yahshua HaMashiach had done. If he had missed just one Kadveh, one Torah, then his work, his offering would have been of no use, Yisrael. Yeah. The same for us. We must do all that Yah has commanded us to do. And that we do it with the love that, that we, we're, we're happy when we do it. It's not something we are forced and we are grudged to do it, Yisrael Yah. But we do it because we are Hava, Abba Yahweh. We give him Toda for all that he has done for us. So again, we greet you all that are listening. Shabbat Shalom. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Let us shoot. Let us turn. Even though we're in this world, Yisrael, we're not of this world. We're not condemned. Yahshua HaMashiach, he has made us free, hallelujah, from the law, the Torah of sin and death. Abba Yahweh, we told you for another day you have made this beautiful Shabbaton. We have labored, we have done our own thing, yes, Almighty Yahweh, for this sixth day. But this day, Abba Yahweh, it is dedicated unto you, Abba Yahweh. So we give you Todah. We do ask, Abba Yahweh, you would take Yisrael Yah home safely. Those that have traveled from near and afar, let your Melikim. Melikim will be a cap around cold Yisrael Yah. And we give you Torah, Abba Yahweh, in everything, for all things, every trial, every situation, Abba Yahweh. And in times, Abba Yahweh, we somewhat, we doubt, Abba Yahweh. Yet, Abba Yahweh, we know in Yahshua HaMashiach that we have overcome all things by his testimony. So we give you Torah, Abba Yahweh. For all things in the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we do declare hallelujah, 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 Shabbat Shalom, Ko Yisrael, hallelujah.